Welcome back. Today we're going to be changing the fuel filters on a 2013 Ram 2500 with the Cummins turbo diesel engine. There are two fuel filters on this truck uh, starting this model year. One uh, mounted on the engine and the second one mounted in the rear uh, by the, the rear axle. We're just going to be using the regular Mopar fuel filters. This is the one up front for the engine. And the one in the back by the rear uh, axle is actually a fuel filter and water separator. First thing to do is place your drip pan underneath the truck. Uh, place it underneath where the drain line for your fuel filter is. Uh, this way you can catch all the fuel that comes out of the fuel filter. Here's the fuel filter mounted on the driver's side of the engine towards the rear. Notice the yellow cap. That is the valve that opens up the drain uh, for the fuel filter. You turn that counterclockwise about a quarter to a half turn and that'll open it up and the fuel will drain out the drain tube on the bottom. Here's my drain tube underneath my truck. It was uh, Mine was a little short so I just grabbed uh, I think it was 3 8 inch uh, inner diameter tube in and just made it a little longer so it would actually drain out underneath the truck without running on any of the uh, steering or susp suspension components. Okay, I got the cap uh, loose, hand loose. I'm just going to loosen it up the rest of the way. Leave the uh, drain, you know, leave the drain open. As the air goes in, more fuel will be able to run out. And the socket size that I'm using is a one and one eighth. Go ahead, take that off the rest of the way. And there's the filter. Take the cap off. Set that aside. And we'll just go ahead and pull the filter out. The filter looks pretty good. This has got 10,000 miles on it. I think the manual calls for 15,000. I was changing mine at 10,000. This is the first 10,000 miles on the truck. Just want to pull them out and take a look at it. Looks pretty good, but I'll go ahead and change it anyway. Okay, once we got the filter element out, next thing I'm going to do is uh, take this filter cap o-ring off, discard that, and put the new one on. And as always with any o-ring, you want to make sure you lubricate a little bit, a little bit of uh, engine oil. All right, I got my little pistol grip uh, oil dispenser. I just think I just got the regular uh, Amsoil diesel oil in there. Just going to take a little bit and lubricate the o-ring. Okay, here's the old filter on the left and the new filter over here on the right. You can see the difference after about 10,000 miles of use. Well, the old filter still looks pretty good, even though uh, no debris, any large chunks in it. It's always good to replace your fuel filters regularly, especially on a diesel engine. That's probably one of the most important uh, preventative maintenance things you can do on a diesel. All right, now we're going to install the new cartridge. Down there, might have to turn a little bit, get it lined up, and make sure it's seated all the way in the bottom. And then install the cap. Put your cap on, turn it until it's hand tight, make sure not to cross thread it, and then tighten it down with your socket. Alright, got it on hand tight, I'm just going to tighten down with the ratchet. Don't over tighten it because you don't want to crack it. There we go, it's good and, good and tight. And of course, don't forget to turn your yellow valve back to the off position. Now we move on to the rear fuel filter. Okay, here's the fuel filter. Mounted underneath the rear of the truck. You can see right there, it's the rear differential. And it's on the passenger side of the fuel tank. This right here is the plate for the fuel tank. And there's this little nipple right here. Just go ahead and take some uh, 3 8 tubing. Slide it right on the end. And take the other end. Stick it over your drip pan. That way the fuel goes into your container. And just reach up here. And just turn this valve. Open it up, you can see the fuel draining out. Okay, next, you just want to take this wire, 
just disconnect it from there. And then you use a standard oil filter wrench to take off the filter. Just use your oil filter wrench and just loosen up the, the uh, fuel filter. That's what the filter mount looks like once you have the filter removed. As you're taking it off by hand, be careful because uh, some fuel is going to spill out. So make sure you keep your drip pan or drain pan underneath to catch any fuel that you spill. Okay, next thing you need to do is remove this piece off the old filter. This is the water and fuel sensor and install it on your new filter. Okay, once you have it off, you'll see there's an O-ring on here. The new filter comes with a new O-ring. So make sure you pull that off. Replace it with the new O-ring, and then simply install it on the new filter. Then on the other side, the new filter comes with this thicker O-ring. Just install that. Get it in place. And then crawl back under your truck and install the new filter. Careful not to twist up your wire too much. Get on there, just like an old filter, get tight. And turn it a little bit more. About a quarter turn past tight. Get to reattach your wire connector. Double check, make sure your drain is closed, and you're ready for priming the fuel system. Okay, I'll be using the. I'm looking in the 2013 Ram truck diesel supplement, page 99 for my edition. Talks about draining the fuel filters. You can read through this for any of the steps that I've done today. Uh, the caution right here says, "Do not pre-fill." the fuel filters with fuel as it may enter contaminants into the filter after changing the filters it doesn't say anything about priming but there's a section on priming if the engine has run out of fuel you can follow that if you like what I usually do is just turn the key to the on position not the start position but the on position and allow the fuel pumps to uh, run for a few seconds and I'll turn the key off, turn it back to the on position, do this a couple times and then start the engine. Uh, our engine may run rough for a little while until it gets the air, uh, all the air worked out of the fuel line and the fuel system. There we go, we got the uh, filter life monitor reset back to zero miles 100% on the filter. Make sure you check out our website www dot worldclasslubricants.com for more information. Thanks for watching.